Here at Thrive Themes, we've been on a quest to make it easy for you to create a unique visual identity and style for your website and also make it easy for you to update and tweak that design without having to repeat the same steps multiple times. And today, I want to show you the latest developments in that quest. Hello, I'm Shane Malach from Thrive Themes and we have expanded a feature we've shown you recently, the shared styles feature to a few new elements and made improvements to how it acts on the button element. So let me show you an example right here. So we have a, an example landing page here and maybe you've seen the previous update about shared styles on buttons. If you're familiar with that, you'll see that we basically took this same principle and now have applied it to background sections and content boxes. To demonstrate, I have created three different background sections here. As you can see, two of them are right next to each other and they just have this light gray background. One of them has a title and some text. One of them has text and an image. One of them has a different background, text and a button. So the whole point here is these are just three separate sections right now. They don't have that much in common. Now, let's say I want to create a more unified style here and I'll select one of these sections and let's make some changes, right? I'll go in and let's say I want to make it a darker kind of almost black background and to match, I will use the outside in editing principle. So on the section itself, I will say that in general, I want text to be white in here and I want it to be center aligned in here like this. And let's also add something like, let's add a, let's say a top border, something that stands out, right? Let's say a green top border, a bit thicker like this. So this is, the section style I want to use. Now I can save this here in the style options. I can save this as a new global style. So green line section, for example, I give it any label I want, right? I apply that. And now I can say, I want my other sections to follow this same style. And to do that, I simply apply the green line section right here and the green line section right here. All right, and as you can see, it applies the same styles that I have saved as background styles without affecting anything else. So whether you know this has text and an image inside, that's fine. The button stays the same. You can see that the text was center lined and it was turned white because that's something I set on the container. But I can have different sections with different content and I can drop stuff in these sections, take stuff out of these sections because what, I'm, what I saved and what is shared between the sections are just the styles applied to the background. And that also means that if I build out this page and maybe other pages on my website as well using this section style, another thing I can do is I can select one of the sections and I can click on the edit global style function. And that makes it so that I can, uh, that I can edit the styles that are now applied to all of these sections. So let's say I wanna make a change here. Say I want this to be a gradient and right away you can see that we, we have a, when I make changes here, it applies to more than one section, right? So let's make it a dark green gradient of some sort. And just to change a couple more things, right? Let's go, let's also change this here to something else. Like this, right? And now you can see that all three sections have been updated. And this also works across multiple pages on the same website. So anywhere on the whole website where I'm using this section with a shared style, it will be updated with my new style. So that's the same way in which you can save button styles and apply them to different buttons, but each button has its own link and so on. You can have now saved styles for background sections and content boxes. We have also improved the way the button styles work and I want to show you that as well. So let me drop a button here. And in the main button options, there are two things you can do with buttons that are um, kind of additions. You can add icons and you can add secondary text. And you can do things here like, usually I would probably want to make secondary text smaller and I have an icon, so I'll probably also, you know, let's say I've changed the size, I changed the icon. 
select something else here and maybe I apply some other styles to the icon and then I apply some styles to the button itself. So we'll make some kind of a button here. Uh, we give it borders and corners just so it looks a bit more button-like. And I'm not going to go into any more detail. The point is that we have a bit of a problem with saving this as a shared style because the secondary text inside the button and the icon inside the button are not styles that apply are applied on the button itself. So technically it's a bit difficult to make this work with shared styles. We have now arrived at what I think is a good middle ground, which is if I save this right here as a style, so let's save this and then I'll add a new button and I'll load this style. What you'll see is that it's missing the icon and the secondary text. But what I can do is if I go into the main options and I add the secondary text and I add the icon, then it does remember the styles, the basic styles I applied. So it remembers that this text is smaller and it remembers the size of this icon. And this is not synchronized, right? Because again, without going too much into the technical stuff, but basically, in web design, styles and content are separated. There's basically a separation between CSS and HTML. And we can save the style information, but we can't save content information. I mean, that brings us back into using templates or symbols. But we have found this compromise where you can have multiple buttons where the secondary text will be the same size and the icon will be the same size, although you will have to you know, choose the icon again and the text content isn't saved either. So it's kind of a compromise between having them properly shared and synchronized across all the buttons. That's technically not possible, but still it saves you those steps. If you want multiple buttons, they all have the same icon and same size and so on. Now you just activate those same features in the main options to make these buttons very similar again. Of course, along with all that, you can still save things as templates. So when you save something as a template, you can load it and edit it and it doesn't affect any of the other templates. That's kind of a single instance. You can also save things as symbols and symbols are completely synchronized across all instances. So all the content, all the text, all the links, everything about a symbol is going to be synchronized across every instance. And the shared styles is how you can apply and save styles independently from content. That means that now with Thrive Architect, you have great flexibility over having different objects and different styles repeat in different places on your website and over how you can manage that to make sure you never have to go around and do the repeat the same editing steps on multiple elements, right? Using these features, you can really have a situation where you edit something once and it applies the way you need it to across your whole website. With this, we now have the basis of shared styles for buttons, background sections, and content boxes, and we're excited to, in the near future, bring this into our templates so that loading and editing our templates will be a much faster affair coming soon. Let us know what you think of these new updates by leaving a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I'm looking forward to your feedback.